Hey guys, so I wanted to make another, uh, where are we? New Year's Eve inspired tutorial. Um, I know I'm wearing the same shirt as like my last video, I think it was, but I start off in my pajamas and then I get to this shirt. So this look is obviously a little bit more dramatic and a little bit more made up. Just a little, lighten up a little bit. It's just makeup, okay? I'm still in my pajamas, so don't judge me. Okay, so first I'm going to prime my eyes because priming your eyes is very important. I'm going to use the Dior Backstage Eyeshadow Primer in number 02, all over the lid, all the way up to my eyebrow. I'm going to be using some scotch tape and I'm gonna put a piece of tape right on the edge of my eye. So kind of following my bottom waterline going up towards my brow. It's gonna help me get a sharper and cleaner cat eye. I'm gonna take a, um, an angled brush. This is Urban Decay. And I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Aqua Black. It's called Waterproof Cream Eyeshadow, but a lot of people just use it as a cream liner. I, well, I use it as a cream liner, I should say. So I'm going to take some of this, kind of start on the edge, coming down onto my bottom lash line, and then start to mark under my brow bone where my crease is at, I'm connecting it. Before that dries, I'm gonna take a, this is a pointed smudge brush, and I'm just going to go lightly over it, back and forth. Okay, it's looking like a bit of a mess, but as always, that's good. We like a mess. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette with the Bedellium Tools 783 brush. It's a crease brush. I'm gonna start with this one, the gray shade, right on the edge of the black. This is a Coastal Scents brush, but it's like a, just a small, stiff brush. I'm gonna take, use the black and just go over right where the liner started. So technically, I probably should have done this before the last shade, but I know for me, I over blend and I would lose this color fast. Do what works for you. And then going back with that Bedellium Tools at Crease Brush with a little bit of the black and just lightly going over the black to kind of blend it out a bit. This is turning into a mess real quick. Okay, blending eyeshadow brush or just a large shadow brush. This shade right here underneath the brow coming down to that last color so it's a little bit more blended, not so choppy looking. Okay, so like on this eye, on my lid, I got some black on there and I don't want that. So I'm actually gonna take a concealer brush and my primer and just go over the lid. Makeup Geek eyeshadow, it's called Magic Act. Magic Act, and it's a gold, and just like an all over shadow brush. I did not come prepared for this video. I'm like all over the place right now. This is a stiff all over shadow brush right in here. A little bit more than halfway over the lid, coming up towards that black that we did, or I did. I'm just gonna wipe my brush down on a paper towel, and then I'm gonna take Untamed on the rest of the lid. Now we're gonna do black eyeliner. I already did this eye because my camera was yelling at me that it was overheating and about to blow up, so it needed to cool down. I did this eye. Going with the Makeup Forever that we started with and my angled liner brush, I'm just going to do a winged liner, so right on the edge of my eye. Then I'm just going to kind of clean up right in here where the liner meet the crease. Just right in here, I want it to be a little bit sharper. The tape again just helped me get a cleaner line on the edge without really having to try. You don't have to do the tape, it's optional. Like if you do your eyes first, you can always use concealer and just clean it up, but I always do my face first. Now I'm going to bring the liner right underneath my tear duct. 
Okay, we can take this tape off. Uh, you see how it gave like, you know what I mean? Okay, now I'm going back to the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for your eyes. And I'm gonna use um this guy that I did like the black with. And I'm gonna dip it into the gray and put it right up in here. I'm putting some of the Makeup Forever Cream Liner on my waterline. I'm going to do a coat of mascara before my lashes. This is the Bobbi Brown Everything Mascara. So I'm gonna do some fat lashes. These are red cherry lashes. And again, I always don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but I will list it below. For cheek highlight, I'm gonna add a little bit of Urban Decay eyeshadow in Blunt. I was actually thinking about doing a red lip with this. I know, pretty damn bold, but it's a special occasion, so why not? MAC Cherry Lip Liner. Okay, um, then we're gonna do Russian Red by MAC. Okay, you know what, real talk. I think it might be the pajamas throwing me off too, but I don't think I like this lip. I'm looking a little hooker-ish. I mean, expensive hooker maybe, but. So I'm gonna do MAC Pencil in Night Moth. And then I'm gonna take MAC Lipstick in Sin. Ta-da! Maybe I should change my shirt or something so it doesn't clash. Hold on. I know I was wearing this shirt in my other video, my other New Year's Eve tutorial, but I just needed to make sure that this looked okay because it was clashing with my pajama shirt. That's for sure. Anyways, it's obviously a really made up look, but something pretty for a special occasion like New Year's Eve or to Target and you're looking for a baby daddy. Where my baby daddy at? Anyways, I hope you have a happy and safe New Year's. I hope this inspires you to do something a little different. You know what? It's just makeup. So if you don't like this, you don't have to wear it. No one's making you wear it. If you do like this, give it a try. If you fail, it's just makeup. It washes off. So don't let it ruin your day. I hope that you have a great night or day or whatever you're doing. I hope it's a good one. Bye, guys.